Warframe tier list, but it's tiering frames based on how well they would prevent the second plane from hitting the south tower. This is implying <laughs> <laughs> that the frames, like, know of the first plane that hit the tower, and, and they're in the area, like, on the ground. How well would these frames, you know, deal with that second plane? Ash can't really do anything. If he would be in the tower, he could at least, like, teleport in there and, like, try to divert something. Actually, no, he can't. His range is way too low. It's like 40 meters at max. Yeah, he, he can't even reach the plane. And, Wait, that, no, and it's an object. I, it's not even an enemy. The plane is an object and you can't get inside. Can't see anything. Yeah, but but also, uh, he could just throw a shark and an armor strip the plane. <laughs> What's that gonna do? <laughs> You're going to It would go everywhere. All right, Atlas. I see a lot of people saying uh, S tier on Twitter because Atlas uh, can, can punch an asteroid in one hit. That, that would kill everyone in the plane. It, it would save the tower, but like, let's assume that Atlas is even on, uh, in the tower. Let's oh, he would 100% punch it and it would just kill everyone in the plane, but yeah. save thousands of other people. Yeah, I think I, Atlas is a straight S tier. I, 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 that's still a lot of dead people. I, I would put him in the yeah. middle because it's like, <laughs> like a lot yeah, of he's people- he's saving still, the tower. But he's killing everyone on the plane. So it's okay, like- Okay, and? I, I would say B tier, honestly, because it, there are frames here that I guarantee you could save both. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you're right, you're right. All right, B tier Atlas, Banshee. Like, she would do nothing on the ground. What could she do in the tower? I guess she can sonic boom the plane in the opposite direction. <laughs> no, she could apply Sona to the tower, so when the tr uh, when the fucking oh. plane hits the tower, <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> Okay, so she could either be in terrorist tier or, like, B tier. <laughs> I, I feel like her just bumping the plane in, op in the opposite direction would just cause... Like, it, it would crash elsewhere, just not into the tower. She, she's like on the same power with Atlas. I'd yeah, say. I'd, I'd say lower than Atlas, but definitely easier. Guru can't do anything. Fucking wow. pacifist. Oh yeah, pacifist. He, he, and he can't like put the plane to sleep. Yeah, can't put the plane to sleep. Can't use his fist because he's not getting hit. Oh man. <laughs> he can throw some funny daggers at it and hope it hits <laughs> one of the hijackers and then it falls asleep. D tier. Yes. <laughs> Caliban um, would be like calling uh, Aquaman to, to save people from 9-11, yeah. a D tier, immediate D tier. Uh, do you think um, Citrine's crystal can melt steel beams? That's not even a question, of course it can. Okay, she would probably and do also, more harm. argument, she could use recrystallize and the plane would stop midair and just not move anymore. I, I would say C2. The plane would free fall, everyone in the plane would die, and most of the people in that area on the ground have cleared out. Building would be safe. I, I would say, like, low B to high C. Then Supreme presses fawn, kills a bunch of people, and the crystal spread upwards. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put her in C tier. What the fuck <gasps> is Chroma doing? <laughs> Making the plane? <laughs> Terrorist here! <laughs> I can't. I can't put him under Caliban. He has to be higher than Caliban. Nothing could be worse yeah, than Caliban. He could at least tank the plane. <laughs> uh, I think Daggett is another frame that just can't do anything. Yeah, I think she's a B tier frame. Even though Mari can I be annoying. <laughs> How hungry, Dante? I think is in another boat where he could just eviscerate the entire plane, kill everyone on it, but save the tower. I mean, he could also just give Overguard to the tower. Maybe it. <laughs> Would the overguard stop the, the beams from melting? <laughs> you know what? Low B just for that. I, I feel like Ember could use her Inferno to take down the plane. However, uh, it's very indiscriminate on what it's going to hit. I think a lot of people would die on the ground too. Yeah. Building, surrounding buildings, people in the building, people in the tower. I'd say high D for her. Causes more. <laughs> no, nah, I, I wouldn't say cause more. I'm gonna no, put her in high D. So this one's gonna be funny. Oh no! What, what's your what's your uh, cause for Equinox? Where would you put? She she, she could if she's she's definitely D tier. Okay. But there's arguments to put her into C, simply because first of all you can you can make everyone fall asleep. Wouldn't do anything, but the terrorist <laughs> sleeping by committing the act is kind of funny. <laughs> And what she can do is, when she sees the plane, she could just kill random people around her and then explode and kill everyone on the plane. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, she could technically also heal people. Nah, nah, she's just a terrorist. Uh, Excalibur. I say fucking A tier, simply he because he can slash dash I was gonna plane. say. Yeah, his slash dash range is ridiculous. If he is on the building and he slash dashes towards it, he's, he's gonna vault himself onto that plane. I, I think he can cut himself into the hull safely take out the terrorists with a blind and then just kill them 
And these these Warframes, these Tenno, have piloting experience, you know, with the Railjack. I think he could safely get on the plane with his crazy range and land it. Okay, hear me out with Frost. I'm not gonna say S. However, I think if he's on the, he's in the tower and he uses his bubble at the right moment, he can fling the plane in the opposite direction. Yeah. Possibly into yeah, the like, river. Not just that, even if he mistimes it, the plane wouldn't hit the tower, it would hit the bubble and fall to the ground. Right in front of Dante. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your what's your case for Gera? I mean, the plane would obviously just go through the glass. Yeah, no, the, the glass. Right, it would just ignore it. it. If she um, had enough time, she could build up the stacks on her too, and then just jump into the plane and blow it up. Uh, and and the, I don't think there'd be much left because of all the shrapnel. Uh, yeah. I, I'd probably put her in C. Yeah, I think C is fine. I'm wondering if she could use Blood Altar to completely halt the plane's movement. Does Blood Altar work on shit in the air? Yeah, it does. Okay, so like Ospreys can be hit by it and freeze yeah. them? Then yeah, fucking ah. Blood Altar. It, it, it would only delay the inevitable, though. It would just, no, it'd stop the plane. People can get up in there. Other frames can assemble and like get in the plane. I, I'd actually say that uh, Garuda can be either high A or S tier. Oh, the the, the one and only use for Blood Altar. Yeah, fucking, ah. I'm putting Wait, Garuda you, in S tier. No, uh, yeah, it's definitely S tier. You can Blood Altar them and then she can just like throw Blood Balls at the fucking ah. plane and it's gonna <laughs> stack up the damage. <laughs> no, you don't want to damage the plane. You want to get the people out of it. Uh, Gauss? I, I, would... I, don't, I don't think he can do a lot. He has a sprint. He could probably vault himself pretty far off the building. He could probably get on the plane. Yeah, I mean, he could farm his son the plane. <laughs> there would be no plane left. He, he would clap his hands twice. Everything would be stripped off. Everyone would go flying. Chaos. Save the tower, but it yeah. would kill the people, so... I put C? high C. Yeah, high C would be yeah. about right. Brendel. This one is, I'm debating S. I'm saying S, too. He has stupid he high range. He on the plane. He would kill the people on the plane by just eating the plane. No, no, no. Because but, everything is slowly dying in there. If he is quick enough, he can eat the plane and then regurgitate it safely on the ground. There there might be quite a few chemical burns, like a stomach acid, but like I feel like that he is probably an easy S just because he can get the plane on the ground. S. I don't really have a case for or against Gyre. I, I think Gyre would, again, just be one of those that just kills more people. Yeah. Oh, God. Um plane would definitely go down everyone inside would die the, the tower would probably get hit yeah i i um she's super indiscriminate on what she's hitting so probably <clears throat> d tier probably right next to caliban he can hold the plane meta oh yeah things in midair just do sort of stay there i guess give it give enough time to like get people on the plane get people involved get people out of there yeah yeah i'd, I'd say like low s tier i'd say more high a but like uh, I'll, I'll be kind to him i'll put him in s hildren yeah, she'll she'll just cool. raffle copter her way up there grab the plane and then just put it on the ground yeah she's just anti-air that's s yeah nobody in the plane dies nobody in the tower dies so real for that hildren all right um, what the fuck uh, does hydroid do acid rain i guess you acid can melt no. the plane before it hits the tower <laughs> don't do that i feel like he can cast his kraken on the tower and the tentacles come out and like grab it. I would put it at B because it's like, can his tentacles affect, like, does he affect shit like Eidolons? No. No. No, yeah, you're right. He so, probably wouldn't be able to grab it then. Yeah. So it, like, it makes me think that it like it would slow it down, but not actually fully stop it. All right, I'll put him at low B. Inaros being fucking useless as always. What's he gonna do? Z tornado and then send it flying? I, I feel what like is he, he gonna can, do. I, he, I feel like he can sandstorm away the plane. But it's just he has no real say in where that plane goes. So yeah, either low B. Wouldn't a lot I of see. people around I, him put, also I'd, die? I'd put him on C because the Naros mains are annoying. <laughs> you know what? Good point. Vara. She can sleep robotics, but the robotics in Warframe are semi-organic. Her arrow wouldn't do anything. She couldn't really zip line to the plane. She could concentrate an arrow on a plane and just make it explode. Yeah, no, everyone on that plane is dying, but uh I guess the tower is safe, so I'd say B. Jade S tier. Like, there's no contesting yeah. that. Jade can fly up to the plane, bust a hole in it, kill everyone inside with her bare hands, and then just pilot it down. Like, I'd say Jade is probably about as high as Garuda. Korra has a lot of range, right? She has some pretty decent range. Yeah. But she just, like, or slap a strangle on the side of the yeah. tower and just, like, put it up in a Spider-Man web. They would be taking damage, but I don't think they would die unless she yeah. runs a lot of power strength. I'd put her in A tier. Calervo. Is Calervo's teleport range um 
infinite as long as you can see it? Uh, or it's is... not infinite, but it's very, very long. All right. But so... he can only teleport once, and then he has to touch the ground again. Yeah. So I think that he could teleport onto the plane, do something similar to Excalibur, just cut a hole in the hull, get in there, kill the terrorist, and then land it. Yeah, he would be able to. Yeah, I'd put him on about the same tier as Excalibur. There is a... Put him lower, though, because yeah. he has a chance of just dying. <laughs> I mean, he's never shielded. Oh, what the hell would Lavos, Lavos do? Is, Lavos just turns it into a chemical attack. I think he would join the terrorist. <laughs> uh, none of his abilities, like, hold anything down. Good at uh, killing. He could cover the plane and come. I, I'd put him, like, in the middle of D. He can, he can just rift the tower and the plane would go through. It would delay the inevitable, but it would give chance for, like, someone else to swoop in and get the plane on the ground. Yeah, and that's um, a thing. get them a chance to, like, take out the terrorists. No, yeah, I, I'll put him in low S, but I, I, I'd i say, yeah, S. That'd be fine. <laughs> Loki could just switch teleport the plane on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Loki's an S tier. Loki could just... <laughs> Easy. Outright switch teleport. Easy. I'm going to put him right behind Jade. And if you're going to, like... Really ridiculous lengths. Loki could teleport the second tower. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! So I think Mag would be B or even A tier because she'd do it very cleanly. She would crush the entire airplane. Everyone in it would die, but it would be very concentrated. There wouldn't be that much shrapnel raining down. The tower would be safe. After this, you gotta make a tier list of who would be the best terrorist. <laughs> I, I think that's too far. I think that gets demonetized. Oh, this is already going to be demonetized as hell. Mesa can't um, do anything. I am sorry, Mesa. Yeah, Mesa, can, you're Mesa can shoot the plane and be funny. Not even. She has 50 meters of range. By the time she can start unloading bullets, the plane is already, like, nose to nose with the building. It would be funny, but I would say, like, she can make a valiant effort. She'll, she'll make a better effort than, like, Baruch or even Lavos. But I, I'd say no. That that's a that's a D tier. What would Mirage do? Can't blind the plane. Wait, she can throw her ball at it, and it would cut it in pieces. In yeah, you're right. Pieces. Uh, that's gonna cause a lot of shrapnel. Like, granted, most it's also of the... gonna kill a lot of people on the ground. Yeah. Uh, granted, most of the people on the ground in that area are like first responders. The the majority of the population is sort of cleared out. She'd prevent the building from being hit, but a lot of people would die, either high D or low C. I'd say low C. Low C? Yeah, let's go low C. Necros let, lets the, the crash happen and then revives everyone. <laughs> revives the plane. Of time. Revives the plane. <laughs> revives the plane so it can go to the Pentagon. <laughs> you could make the argument that he could terrify and they would, like, turn around. Like, he does have oh, high range. Can but soul it's punch like, the plane. It's not that high. The soul punch, I guess, would... It's another instance of sending the plane flying in the opposite direction. Yeah, no B, I'd say. Nasha could spear the plane, stop it in its tracks. Yeah, probably, it would probably kill a lot of people, though. But oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd say low A for that, then. I'd say low A because it's going to stop the I'm plane really entirely. I'm really control who, who's getting hit by the fall. Is there a limit on how many... Impaired. Isn't there a limit I don't on... Think, I think it's 20. 20? There are more than 20 people on that plane. He, that's fine. 20 deaths on the plane. <laughs> what? Nidus literally can't do anything because he needs stacks. Yep. <laughs> that, that's like... I mean, you could, you could throw his point. That's <laughs> it. Uh, I uh, think Nova... Nova S. Yeah, just because if you can wormhole and slow down the plane. Yep, slow down the plane. That means it'll be easier for it to wormhole it and then get it on the ground really safely because it'd be at a nice cruising speed. Put her. Oh, probably... no, remember, the portals keep the momentum. Yeah, but it's going to be slow. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right, you're right. I'm done. It'll be slow. Yeah, so I'm going to put their, yeah. like, middle of S tier. Nyx, she can cause a frenzy on the plane. Everyone just attacking each other. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't uh... do anything. Would just cause more cash. Okay, okay, yeah, but, but if, if you're on the tower, right, he could go right where the contact point would be and then tank the entire plane crash. Yeah, she could absorb the plane. She could. A again, everyone on the plane is gonna die, but you know what, yeah, I I'd say like in the B tier for that one. Middle of B, Oberon is oh, useless that's as S -tier. always. Really? What no, S tier. Carpet the tower and everybody in the <laughs> tower that would've died just revives. <laughs> uh, no, uh, the Phoenix Renewal only works on one thing and then it's on cooldown. I mean, you can give everyone some damage resist and, and some health, I guess, so people You're... can get out easier, but like. You're, you're right, he, he's a D tier, because knowing his luck and my luck, 
he would probably revive a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> would would the terrorist take the the bait of her meatball and then follow it away? I mean, it does taunt. <laughs> could could she it's throw fun. her meatball onto like <laughs> another building? <laughs> I think the plane would still crash into the ground where the meatball is. But I think, yeah, I, I'd say that she can avoid that tower. And it would be tier. Bottom of B, I'd put her. Now, since we're going off, like, in-game logic rather than lore logic, I don't think Protea can do much. If, it, if we were going for, like, more lore logic, then easily Protea can be an S tier. Just, like, reverse the plane into Yeah. Her. I but, was like, about to say, if she would somehow make it on top, uh, onto the plane, she could just reverse the plane and slowly, like, do things. Like, figure out what the uh. fuck to do. Uh, but... In game, right now. I don't no. think she can do any, anything other than attack the tower with a turret uh, over Oberon, of course. I mean, we have Corvex. He can give he can give everybody around the tower cancer. That's a D tier. He can also clap his hands and crush the plane like a like a Coke can with his two walls. Oh yeah, you're right. Wait, and wait then, a minute. And the air will just blow up and fall to the ground. I see yeah. low B. I, I think so. Put her. Low B. Low B? Low B. Uh, Rev X Devenant. Fucking <laughs> nothing. For all I know, the terrorists are already as frauds and he's, they're just doing his bidding. You're right. D e tier just for you. I think Rhino, um, he has high base range, really good duration. He's I think he could scum. Yeah, Rhino stomp the plane. I mean, he could Rhino charge because that also has some really good range if you have high duration. I feel like he'd, he'd be like an Excalibur, but worse off. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put him like under Calervo in A tier. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, no, it's Saren's going Saren could there. technically mold, and that draws aggro, but... That's not gonna do shit, everyone's It's a dying. very low range aggro is the thing. That too. Sevagoth can gloom with a plane. And slow it down, yeah baby! <laughs> I mean, that's not gonna help at all. Even at 95% speed, oh, that God. plane is still going to just blow up. The plane will blow up, the building will be hit. You um, think about the gloom guy. Gloom gangsties, I'm sorry you're losing this one. Like, you're delaying the inevitable. I'm gonna put you, like, middle of D. Styanax, I have a case for Styanax being an A tier. He could throw a javelin at it and pin it some yeah. to something. He could throw a javelin and the plane would just get knocked away to our farm, <gasps> to, like, Narnia. Yeah, would the, I think the impact might kill a lot of people. I think he could safely, like, oh, yeah. stick a javelin in and, and, like, pin it to something, though. Middle of C, I'd say, then. Yeah. Titania is another case of a flying frame that can just jump up there, get into the plane, kill, and then land the plane. I think yeah, Titania she could also just stay by the flying <gasps> thing. That too, like stasis the plane. Sure, uh, middle of S tier, Trinity. Okay, let's get so around. Trinity's S tier. Okay, I'm you listening. can well of life the tower. <laughs> okay, people would die, but I think everyone in the tower would have a better chance of escaping. Yes. I don't think S tier, I think maybe low A. <sighs> oh, mamma mia! Valkyr. Yeah. I, I guess she can, like, rip line the she plane. She can rip line the plane to the ground. It would go directly down into her. <laughs> Valiant sacrifice for a cat guy. Just no, to piss off. No, me. no. D tier just to piss off the Valkyr means I fucking <laughs> hate these people. Realistically, middle uh, of C. In my heart, D. Uh, All right, Bastille. Bastille. Bastille, yeah, that just. Yeah. And he could just keep throwing Bastilles to keep that uh, duration up. Oh yeah, he can slowly pull it down too. Yeah. You know what? Shit. Yeah, that, no, I'm putting him up there with like Tesla Novos. Just throw them into the plane every now and then and kill the Taurus slowly. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna put him up there along with Jade. Uh, Volt. I mean, shield the building partially, kind of. Zap everyone in the plane and just cause it to go down. Yeah. I... I don't think he, he gets anything. Yeah, I like little... Void, but I think he's just kind of fucked up. Ah. Yeah, no, like, I, the, the plane would still keep going even if it's short-circuited. High D for effort. Uh, Varuna, we put her below Excalibur. Simply because she can just lunge up there with her four and, like, cut everybody in the plane in half. Behind Excalibur or behind Rhino, she's in a very similar position. I'm gonna say yeah. above Rhino, A tier. Jet fuel might not be able to melt steel beams, but Wisp's sunbeam can melt the entire plane. I don't think there'd yeah. even be anything left of the plane by the time it got there. I think it would just be Ash hitting the tower, so everybody on the plane would die, but she would definitely save the tower. Yeah, very good. Tower might damage. be a little like bond on the outside, but that's about it. Low, low to mid B, I'd put. 
Wudong. He could Cloud Walker onto the plane, do something very similar to Excalibur and Varuna and Rhino. Yeah. He'd get there very fast too. He he didn't he wouldn't even have to be in the tower. Uh yeah, I'm gonna put him like right here behind Calervo. Uh, Zaku could freeze the plane. It does freeze yeah. things that are in the air entirely. Yeah, he can. Um, um, not much he could do to, like, get on the plane, I guess. Yeah, he can't do much about that, but he can at least freeze it until something else can help. Yeah, yeah that's a low B. Low B? We're going low B. Yorelli's not doing anything here. Yorelli has sea snares, they have low range, they do DOT, though, so people on the plane would be suffering. Yeah, I... I I think she's either low C or B. Yeah, I'd, put, I'd probably put her low C tier. Like, she can prevent it for a time. And Zephyr, um, she could do the same thing as, like, Excalibur, Wukong, Varuna, and Rhino. And when she's up there, I mean, she could redirect the plane by using her, uh, her airburst. And, and, and there we have it. That is the Warframe tier list, but it's tiering frames based on how well they would prevent the second plane from hitting the South Tower. I bet. This is the worst tier list that I've done. This yeah, that's the best one. I I think this finally beats out the armpit tier list. I mean, no. this is the worst one you've done so far. Damn, you're right. Next time I'm going to tier races in Warframe.